So, all right, y'all, welcome to another Chris Chris. This is gonna be a full body workout. I actually got some techniques and tips that I can show you of items that you can use around the house to help you with leg workouts, to help you with arm workouts, and just help you in general. And it's things you wouldn't even think about using. So be sure to be subscribed and turn on notification bell so as soon as I drop this video, you can see what this tip and tricks are going forward. But yeah, it's something you're gonna use around the house that we all use. I'm gonna go into it way more, but as you know, when I start my workouts, I begin with a run to do my cardio to get that out of the way. So I'm gonna go do my typical 3.5 mile run. I'll let you know how long it takes and all that funness. And then we'll get into the workout and what I've been using to help supplement the fact that I don't have dumbbells, I don't have weights, but this will be a good supplement. So be sure to tune in and find out what it is. All right, so just did the run. It's 95 degrees in Vegas. I started my run around 4.45. I typically do my runs around one to three, but it's been hotter in Vegas. So, you know, like around that 12 to three range, I usually am like, I ain't trying to run. So I picked 4.45 and it was still 95 degrees. So going forward, I'm just gonna have to run in the heat, deal with it, be hydrated, drink some water and all that. Now we're gonna get into the workout. I'm gonna grab the tool that we're gonna be utilizing that you can buy anywhere. It's from at home. Let me go grab it real quick. So the magic is gonna save you. It's gonna potentially give you some weights, you know. Water jugs. And you know, you can go to Walmart, you can go to your local neighborhood. The bigger the jugs, the more they weigh, but you gotta think, hopefully you can have a handle, do something of the sort. But this is what I'm gonna utilize for some leg, for some chest, for some bicep, all that type of stuff going forward. And I'm actually over the uh, weekend, I'm gonna go to a store and see if I can find bigger ones than this or you know, give myself some variations and stuff as well. So that's what I'm gonna be showing you guys today, how to implement some workouts with these involved as the weights. So let's go. All right, so I'm gonna be honest, this is where I wish I actually had a bench so you know I can go farther down. I'm gonna be using a stool and trying to even myself in my equilibrium so when I lift, I'm you know getting the right thing. So do what works best for you, but definitely with bench, it's a little bit harder. So. Just do what you have around the house. Unfortunately for me, I got a stool. We'll see if it works. And I'm aiming to do at least 45 of these. 45 to 60 range is what I'm aiming for. Um, I'll let you guys know as we go. Remember when you're doing this, it's not as much weight as you normally do, so you should do more weight to supplement until you can find maybe a water jug that's enough that's good to you. If you're one of these lucky people that actually can find a dumbbell, good luck, but I ain't able to find anything. I'm losing myself I'm losing, I'm losing 
All right, so next we're gonna use these to do some biceps, and if you don't know biceps, it should be self-explanatory, but we gonna like work on that. And I'm gonna aim to do at least 40 each arm. Maybe I'll go for 50. Like I said, with this, it's, some, it's something fairly new. So I'm going until like I get that feel where I'm like, damn, that, that was enough, that was worth it. So that's how you should be doing with it. Cause my water jug isn't gonna be the same size as your water jug. What I do with weights isn't the same as what you do with weights. So you just gotta do what you feel. And I think as soon as I get like a little bit bigger jug, it's definitely gonna be beneficial and good. So after I'm doing that, let's go do a leg workout. I'm gonna show you guys how to deadlift with this. So as we all know, deadlift, get yourself in that position, make sure you're there. And then you're gonna, uh, and you're gonna pull up, make sure you're pulling you, can, you should be able to feel it in your glutes. You should be able to feel it in your calves. If you're doing that, you're doing it right. And I'm aiming to do 20 of these. I'm gonna go 10 and 10, okay? I know that I lived how I wanted to.
<sighs> yeah, that was pretty good. I felt that one. I showed you a chest one. I showed you a bicep. I showed you a leg one. Now I'm gonna show you a back one real quick. So we gonna work out our back and our bicep in one. And we're just gonna do it like that. Make sure you're keeping in. So you're working on that. And I'm aiming, I'm aiming for at least 30 of each side, 30 to 40. And go, like I said, go however you want to go. man I'm able this is the first time I felt like I was working out at the gym even though I'm not I'm feeling sore in those places I ain't felt before in a while like home workouts you feel it everywhere but when you're able to do those individual and work on something primarily it's a different feeling so that's good uh, I haven't done a tricep alone workout so that's what I'm gonna show you guys next just a heads up with these water jugs I feel like it's more intended to help you supplement your arms and all the other stuff. Because when you're doing leg exercises, you can always use your body weight. You know, when you're squatting, you can squat your body weight. When you're lunging, you're using your body weight. A lot of legs can be easier supplemented with just body weight. As far as arms supplementing your body weight, that's where push-ups come in. But yeah, I'm gonna show you some tricep workouts and then I'm gonna show you some other things for this full body workout. So the tricep workout, make sure you have a good grip and you're gonna go straight back. I'm aiming for 30 of these each arm like I did with the back, 
15, 15, 15, 15, and then I'll let you know what we're doing next. So I've shown you quite a few different arms. I showed you that one leg. I'm gonna actually squat with these necks and I'm gonna aim for 10, 10, and 10. So 30 squats. These water jugs are the best addition. You really should add it to your workout. It adds a little extra oomph that you're looking for. Uh, so I showed you guys four upper body things to do with the jugs. I showed you two with legs. Honestly, the last two with legs, I'll show you the jug with lunging. So I'll just do the regular lunges. I'm gonna aim for 15 each leg and try and do 10, 10, and 10. So five, five, and five with each leg. Let's go. 
you can see, but man, I'm still sweating. This full body workout's definitely working. It's hitting. I got one more. I got one more leg workout and we gonna call it quits. But I'm gonna do one that's actually not leg weight, but I'm actually gonna do two leg workouts. I'm gonna work on so to finish my workout, I'll be holding the water jugs and doing calf raises, and then I'll let you know what I'm going to do to last, but that one won't include a water jug, just a heads up. up with a glute bridge for a total of 20 so 10 and 10 because I'm glute legs I got I feel like I need to work out my glutes a little did my arms I did a little bench I did the bicep tricep I did the back I'm showing you these different legs you just got to have some variety you got to get creative with it you know what I'm saying we indoors just don't keep doing the same thing you got to apply yourself in new ways and find ways to get these gains because they ain't going nowhere, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna finish with this glute and we're gonna talk about how we're wrapping it up. <laughs> body workout how you can do it with that secret equipment just a heads up it's the water jug so go to your Walmart go to your Target if you don't have one of those wherever your big venue place find some water jugs get two of them add it to your repertoire let me know in the comment section feel a difference when you add the water jugs versus not having it because I felt the difference my body has felt a difference I'm sweating way more than I normally do it's got what I need, exactly what I need. As you know, I'm posting these videos Thursday, noon Eastern time every week. So be sure to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you can be updated as soon as I post it. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. This Chris Chris, I'm out this motherfucker.